Now, reactions have continued to throw President Mohamed Buhari's cabinet with shuffle, including the sack of ministers of power in agriculture and rural development. Now, analysts believe it is a good development, but stress that the reshuffling is not enough. Jacinto Buku tells us more. The reshuffling, which the presidency has said would be continuous, is the first of its kind. During his first term between 2015 and 2019, the ministers who left the cabinet resigned on their own. Among them were Kemi Adeoshun, former finance minister who was involved in a certificate scandal, and Amina Mohammed, former environment minister who got a United Nations job. Guests on Plus TV Africa's breakfast show support the president's move, faulting their efficiency, alluding that the termination of the appointments was not unwarranted. The Minister of Power, for instance, it's, it's difficult to be able to point out that any achievement, any sterling performance that he has been able to achieve uh, since he came into office. You know, what we have seen is that uh, for the last two years, four years, even before he came into office, Electricity tariff has been increased by about 400 percent in the area of agriculture. You would discover that things, food is extremely expensive now. You know, when as a, as a family man, where you used to put uh, 20,000 20, naira down, now now you have to put something uh, like 50 to 60,000 naira. These were two ministries that have quite frankly been underperforming in the last two years. Now, if you talk about the agricultural sector. Um, you know, Mr. Adebayo alluded to the fact that food prices have been skyrocketing. Of course, that is not directly the fault of the minister, um, but you would have expected um, some strategic response from that ministry in terms of certain policies um, and initiatives that would have driven the agricultural sector forward, which did not happen. While Mark Adebayo believes the reshuffling is not enough, Ayodele Adio speaks on yardsticks for ministers' performance. The reshuffling did not go far enough. The, the president needs to look at critical areas. Look at the area of defense, you know, which is responsible for our security. Well, what has the, well, the president should look critical? Everybody, everybody involved in the security management of this country ought, ought, ought to go, ought to be replaced. It's first the strategic um, agenda and the policy direction that the ministry sets. Um, how clear that vision is, uh, what the objectives are, and how achievable those objectives are. It is hoped that the sacked minister's replacements will result in better results and efficiency. Jacinta Ubiku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.